Today, I want to show you how to install Poet's MD1 motion and light detector. The first thing I would like to highlight about Poet's entire line of products is that we are not high voltage like most traditional products. Instead, we are powered and networked through PoE. The first thing you might notice in all of our lighting products is that we don't have a fixed dedicated motion detector. The reason for this is that when you have a fixed motion detector, you don't have flexibility because that light can only be controlled by that motion detector. We wanted to give our products flexibility, so we removed the motion detector and created a standalone product, the MD1, which can control one light or many lights depending on what the user wants to configure. All of our products required PoE input to power the network and then it will go straight to the cloud. The first thing I would like to highlight about this motion detector is that it is IP65 rated, which is the highest waterproof rating before a complete submersion. And given that it is PoE and low voltage, it is completely safe. From the cloud, you use our app to connect to any MD1 to any wall switch to any light or lights. This allows you to configure our products either one-to-one -one or many-to-many. -many. It's your choice. It can be installed to a wall or ceiling, is adjustable 40 degrees down, 90 degrees up. Also, the head can rotate 90 degrees left or right, providing complete install flexibility. Our MD1 can be installed on a wall or ceiling. Works best when installed at least 6 feet high with a range of 40 feet at this height. To install our product, you could cut a single gang hole on the wall. Then you would take any standard low voltage trim ring and you would install the trim ring to the wall. Next, you would take the back piece of the MD1 and install it to the trim ring and then you would run the CAT5 cable through and connect it to the PoE port on the back of the MD1. Once connected, you will notice the MD1 booting up by the flashing lights and from the front, you will see the red LED sensor light flash showing that it's booting up. The red LED also acts as the light sensor. The next step is to download our app and configure the unit.